I can't believe I haven't done this earlier. Today, we're gonna be talking about some things I wish I would have known earlier and that can potentially just save your whole Sims game. Number one is the autosave option. So if you didn't know, if you click on your computer and if you have MCC installed, you can access this MCC settings tab over here and you can choose to autosave your game. Just go to use autosave, enable it because the default value is disabled. You will also need to select the save interval type. I have set my interval type to sim hour but you can also set it to sim day but if you want to be 100% sure that you are not gonna lose your save I highly suggest that you set it to sim hour and just to test it out let's just select the ultra speed theoretically at 8 a.m we should get this message right over here it asks you do you want to save now and you click ok and as you can see right here a brand new save will be created so if we go to exit main menu save and exit you should see that now we have two different slots so this is the most recent one and this is the regular save that is included within your base game the second thing that will save your game and by default your sims is to basically click on your sim go to mc command center mc cheats basically reset your sim whenever you feel like your sim isn't acting you know properly or isn't responding to your commands so if we go and watch sports my sim is very responsive very obedient right now you can also follow the same scenario just click on her go to mc cheats and then also make her happy because sometimes upset sims angry sims will not perform anything at all so it's good to make her happy it's good to reset her by the way if you don't have mcc you can also shift click on her just hit the shift key and click at the same time on her select reset object and then once again shift click cheat need make happy and that is the equivalent for the mcc options that we've used previously but in a base game so you won't have to install mcc if you just want to reset your sim just to make things clear okay the third thing that really saved my game is basically just using mcc because you have control over so many things like you can set your pregnancy you can play around with mc occult mc dresser mc population mc pregnancy and a lot a lot of things that you can basically manipulate and transform into your game if you click on your sim you should see this command center once again and this allows you to do so many things like look at this list you can delete a relationship if you would like to clear all relationships you can modify her pregnancy like we can just get pregnant right now with one of those land grabs i already have some videos on mcc if you're curious and if you want to see them and by the way if you are sick of a sim you can just go to sim commands maintain sim and you can opt for you know deleting that sim or killing that sim number four one thing that really 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 helped me quite a lot whenever i'm encountering an issue in the sims 4 is basically just deleting that problematic thing that is posing me problems because sometimes sims may not be responsive because of the thing that is in front of them so just delete this couch go back in live mode and see if your sim becomes responsive once again or if it you know just fixes that stuck sim issue that uh, many of you encountered the fifth game changer in the sims 4 is going to the options menu and instead of save click the save as feature because this will basically create a brand new slot for your sim you can pick whatever name you would like to you can you know just name it new save and this will potentially help you with problematic households that won't do anything or are just stuck so all you need to do from now on is to access this brand new slot that you've just created and this should solve any household issues that you might have whenever something's going wrong in your save in your household or whenever your things are just glitching and not being this smooth or this responsive you can once again just exit to main menu save and exit and then just load your game once again or you can even just completely exit your game and restart it and load your game using that brand new save that you've just created and the last thing that really really helps a lot especially 
especially when you are dealing with game issues, with mods issues, maybe anything really. It's just going into your documents, electronic cards, The Sims 4, and then mods folder. Resetting your mods folder by renaming it will definitely help you. As you can see right here, I have three different mods folders that I have renamed in the past just because I was encountering different sorts of issues. My game wouldn't open, my game wouldn't, you know, just load properly or my game options would be just messed up. So if you're encountering that, I highly suggest that you rename your mods folder into something else. Reopen your game, go to game options, other, and take these two boxes. Exit your game once again and a brand new mods folder should pop up into your The Sims 4 folder. And instead of putting your mods into your old, you know, mods folder, you can just use this brand new one, which should only contain the resource.cfg file in it. Generating a brand new mods folder and placing updated mods in here will 100% save your game and will make your life easier. Resetting your mods folder goes hand in hand with renaming your electronic arts folder. This should be done only when you are, you know, encountering serious problems, like severe problems, such as your game acting really, such as your game not loading properly, such as your game being glitched or totally messed up, or your game not being able to open. By the way, make sure you rename your electronic cars folder slash mods folder with your game completely closed because otherwise it won't work. It would show you like an error message. So we don't want to deal with that. I've already talked about the process of resetting or renaming your electronic cars folder in a bunch of videos that I have posted last year and this year on my channel. So go ahead and check those out if you're interested. Keep in mind that you should back up. I have said this a million times before, but I'm going to say it once again back up your electronic cards folder because you will need to copy your saves your screenshots as well as your tray files because those are associated and tied to your sims to your families to your save files we don't want to lose them definitely let me know what are your other tips gameplay wise tips that you apply to your game to your families in order to make them run smoothly i'm very curious to hear your thoughts this is what I regularly do whenever I'm encountering, you know, issues. So I truly hope it helped you out as well. If you liked this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time with a brand new, exciting and helpful video for you. Have an awesome day just like you. Bye guys. Thank you.